Okay, guys, so... Um, I'm gonna do some chicken soup. And if I can, um, see if it's gonna be a little bit leveler. Yeah. Um, perfect. I ice up this a little bit. As you guys can see that part. Oh um, yeah. I think I, I think I got a bigger one now. Okay, perfect. All right, that is perfect. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some chicken soup today. It's Saturday. Next week I'm gonna try my best to do um. What the next one name? Yeah? Red pea soup. Well, um, I don't, I'm not a key person with beef, but um, but I will try my best. All right. Yeah. To do some red pea soup next week. soup next week guys so that's what I'm gonna try my best and do next week all right let's do some chicken soup today we're gonna do something fantastic I'm gonna use frozen yam frozen pumpkin frozen chocho yeah to make this soup beautiful Last week we do it in a different style. We're gonna give you a different version this week. And how, this is how we're gonna start it off. With roughly about two teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil in the pot. And two cloves of garlic in the front, in the pot, All right? Share the video, guys. So we're gonna put some white onion in the pot. All right, yeah, that's looking lovely and nice. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this chicken soup is gonna be totally different from last week one. And this is going to be amazing. These are frozen pumpkin. So I'm using a lot of pumpkin for flavor. Right.
this is a pumpkin. Alright. So that look nice. I'm gonna show you how you can make some really authentic chicken soup. Alright, yeah. Rum fish, wild one. Rum fish, I'm gonna show you wild one, man. This is frozen pumpkin. That's why I'm doing this kind of video for you guys. I'm gonna boil my kekka. Right. Excellent. Alright, let that steam and cook up for a little bit. Alright, I just made that soup. Wow. Rosie, Rosie, got a building. Big up yourself. Big up my TikTok and my Facebook audience. Um, yeah. Even my darling, why are you being this evening? All right, I'm gonna show you the best way to make a rich pumpkin and chicken soup. Yes, yeah, man, learn something new. Oh, yeah, okay, wicked. Follow me by Instagram, not follow me by Instagram. Chef of Father Cooking, download the book. Look at that, guys. All right. What do you want to do? Give it a spot. All right. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to show you if you make the word best chicken soup today. This one I'm gonna learn something new guys. So I'm, I'm cooked, I'm boiling the kick at the moment. See that? Yeah. Sweating. And this is what you want. Sweat up the onion. Yeah. Beautiful. Craig, what's going on, Craig? <laughs> Craig is in the building, man. Big up yourself every time. You know, all this are support chef for Carter cooking. Big up yourself. Rum fish, man. Go around to the rum fish. All right. Yeah. Take a look again. All right. I'm not thinking of something, guys. A lot of people don't know them kind of recipe, I know.
rum fish. I hear a recipe this enough. Alright. Yeah. Wow, sweat. Man. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a medium sized carrot. Alright. Yeah. Medium sized carrot. some water from the kettle. Look at this guys. I'm gonna teach you how to make chicken soup, the word. This is how you want your carrot them to look. Look at this. All right, inside of the water. Now guys, Stacy, I'm just making some chicken soup for you. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. All right, look at that. You see the reason why I did the pumpkin like this? So it give me that nice, lovely, beautiful, rich color. <laughs> right, Stacy, big up yourself, man. Every time. <laughs> All right. Now, we got frozen chocha. Frozen chocha may have a little bit, a little bit of waterish to it, but it's fine. All right, this is a chocha. Size potato right here. All right, that's what we're gonna use. Yeah, and then we're gonna put the potato into it like this. Short inside of it, that's gonna give me that nice, lovely, rich color. All right. Now, guys, the way I make this a soup, it's so easy and simple. Anyone can do it. We're gonna put some baby spinach dough, dough in it, inside of it, dumpling. Alright, this one. Just put it on the water like this. Alright, beautiful. Rum fish, what? Well, go on. Good morning, rum fish. <laughs> rum fish, man. My Craig or God. Big up my subscribe my members and my subscribers. Guys, go over to Chef Ricardo YouTube chat over my website and download a book. 
right go and download the book guys one pound fifty for the book you know what if you want me to show you how to make the door let me know Chicken soup. What you make this evening? Cause you're a chef, you know. You're one of the biggest chefs right now. You know? Lots of vegetables and thing and the pumpkin. Just mash out into it and give it that lovely flavor. Send the recipe, come and give me. All right, guys, this right here is frozen yam. I don't got no corn. If I did got corn, I would put some corn in it. Got the shop didn't have any corn, you know. All right, these are frozen yam. Very small, not too thick. All right. So, yeah, this are the yam. I'm gonna put some yam in it. to it and give me that beautiful color sweet potato Jamaican sweet potato not the red one this is the proper one from Jamaica a little bit more
Now guys, this is how I do my chicken soup, all right? I just rub up with my chicken with a little bit of chicken season. It's chicken breast, all right? Now, no fat, because chicken breast is very easy to cook. You can put this in the water, I'll just mash out like, you know? You have to just do this for last. Excellent. See that? Yeah. Now, let's come over. Beautiful and nice. All right. Yeah. That looking good. Pot is a little bit small, but we're gonna rush it. We take your time, see how we. chicken season turn on the cooker a little bit not too high that it doesn't boil or flush it and wash it and dash it and all sorts of stuff ferment the seed Looking good. Alright, nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, so yeah man. Rich and nice. Alright. Now this kind of soup good for corner flu. We're gonna be using some chicken soup mixing it. Black pepper. Now, this is veg stock, best in the world, and it is also vegan. Let's take a little bit of water on it. Just a little bit of water and put it in the pot like this with the noodle. You don't need too much noodle, guys. Honestly, nice. So the pot. This is all when we are Jamaica, we make soup. The pot must look like this, right to the edge. All right. Yeah, man. The pot have to look like this, guys. Mm -hmm. Spring onion. Yeah, you have to have the pot like this, guys. Yeah, man. It's now, it's looking so delicious. The pot supposed to have boiled over. And I, and, I, and I go up on the stove. Yeah. All right, that looking rich and nice.
spring onion, whole heap of spring onion on top. Anyway, this is frozen thyme. Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper for flavor. Yeah, your pot must look like this, guys. When I make soup, one over. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm, cover it. Let it cook for another couple of minutes. Vegetable stew with dumpling. Oh my god. Big up yourself on that one there. Yeah man. See that? Look at that guys. So you just take time and make it go and cook and simmer. And then you just give it a little one star. Don't rush it too much. You know? Alright, yeah. Real authentic Jamaican soup. See that? Look at that. Yeah. Now, if you have cooler flow, then this will be good for you. Very, very good soup for that purpose. Yeah, man, let's taste it. season all right that is delicious wow man yeah this is what i'm talking about next week gonna be red pea soup Get hungry, don't worry, yourself. We are sending on a big board for you. <laughs> yeah, next week, Kitty Han, what's going on now? Dana, thank you so much. Next week, chicken foot. Ah, make, make red pea soup today with pig tail and chicken foot. Oh my god, long time later, I'm gonna something about about 10 years. Red and pig teal and all them thing there. There it is. Yeah, man. You have to just keep moving it around because you know, pot small. But when I make soup, the pot of it look like this. And it's now I'm going with nothing. Alright, yeah. And we don't use the skin pan chicken. I will remove the fat from the chicken. 
you know them things that make you put on weight When you move the skin and the fat from the chicken, it's more healthier. All right, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Can't get this away in a test car Sainsbury's guys. Looking yummy, yummy. Definitely on. Yeah. What do you guys think about the soup? Please go over to my webs. Uh, what spice did you use? Oh, I use a chicken seasoning. I use pimento seed, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic, spring onion, thyme, yam, banana, yam, everything where you can think of. Now, every Saturday I make soup now, you know. Every Monday is meat free Monday. So next Saturday I'm gonna try and, and make red pea soup. Alright? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. Wow. Look at that man. Channel star. I can't get this in a test cup in an yummy. <laughs> Yeah, I get to see that it's supermarket for buy. I'm sure I just come from that shop, man. That's why. All right. So this is pimento seed, chicken soup mix. All right, guys. Have a good look, man. Have a good look. Get in the kitchen and turn on the stove a little bit. No, you know. Yeah. This recipe, I'm gonna put it on my website, chefricotta.co.uk. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the website. The link is in the bio. The link is in the bio. Get the book for recipes. What this does in the the book. Book is a healthy recipe, guys. And you can't have too much high heat, medium size heat. Very good to go. Janet, thank you so much. YouTube channel, Chef Ricardo Cooking. Link is in the bio. Some soup, lovely. Thank you so much. Yes, man. I'm, I'm... Oh yes, the, the, this kind of pot. What eight one nine? This kind of pot make the food cook different. All right. Yeah. Definitely. As you guys can see, look at that. All right. Yeah, man. Now, so this kind of soup is for cold and flu. So if you have a cold or a flu, you need to make this at home. All right.
excellent all right as you guys can see with the chicken don't use chicken for, with the skin on it when you're gonna make the soup for cold and flu try your best and um remove the skin from the chicken and make it like this all right guys with this scotch bunny pepper gonna give you the flavor get in the kitchen and make some chicken soup and yeah got and th this is the yam I, I, i'm gonna show you guys how you can put your, your yam in the freezer and freeze the yam and use it whatever you want to use it is the best way and it's still nice all right look at that so just keep moving it around in the pot that means nothing does a stuck on the bottom of the pot all right let's move it around like this right. well, we got the thyme we got spring onion yeah but you guys can see definitely but this kind of pumpkin is not a really rich red pumpkin you know and this one it cooked everything perfect yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover it and turn off the cooker and allow the heat for it to cook it so the heat will cook it now Ah, send me some lifetime story. Yeah, three one. Thank you so much, man. Big up yourself. Craig, yes, Craig. Look, delicious and great. You have to try the recipe. I'm gonna put the recipes on my website, chefrecorder.com. If you here. Name out all the ingredients on the website. Great things, my brother. Flex life. Big up yourself. So, what I did, I turned off the cooker, allow the heat to cook it. that look at that guys simple and delicious all right yeah you know wow look at 
that. That's the chicken. No fat, no oily. Okay. All right. That looking good. Go back into the pot. Yeah, man. Well done, Chef Ricardo. This is 2023 chicken soup. Ready for you guys, all right? I'm telling you this. Yes, this I want, I need. This is very good for the cold and the flu. Recipe will be chicken breast. Yeah, I'm using chicken breast, which is the best, all right? A lot of people when they're making chicken soup, they're using the skin on the chicken. That to make it put on extra weight, all right? What you want to do this is some um tri seed um tribes uh, which i cut up and just put some like, like this nice and i'm thinking they're good for you guys very very good chicken soup guys guys can see it's time to share this beautiful ah Craig is it <laughs> big up yourself man <laughs> all right guys here it is now this is what you want to do honestly all right mm -hmm. now this chicken soup you can also cool it down and freeze it if you're a person who are working nine to five and busy and can't be able to make this during the week, then this is what you want to do cool it down and freeze it, all right, and use it in your own purpose. Yeah, all right, guys, honestly, it's worth it if you ever do that at home. Whenever you ever do this at home, let's put this right here so for you guys. Uh, just so you guys can see what's going on. Alright. That's the soup. Right there, honestly. And a few more extra strive on top of it, right? Some chives. Alright. Now. Yeah. This is, this is what I'm talking about. All right, guys, honestly, hope you guys can see what's going on my Facebook audience. Thank you so much for watching. And all right, we got so much on our come for you. Uh, Dana, yes, man, I have a book. But this doesn't mean that, that book, the new book which is coming out, gonna have this inside of it. All right, now, guys, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. So the chicken soup, yes, Craig, you definitely know what's going on. All right. Now, you can cool it down and freeze it. Put them in a container and put them in your freezer and use them, you know, within a month. All right. Yeah. But as you guys can see, that's the chicken soup right there. That is excellent, beautiful, and nice. All right. And definitely, I want you guys to... Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right, go over to my website, chefricardo.co.uk. I will post the ingredients what I use to make this chicken soup. All right, excellent. Look at that. No way, man. Somebody need to make this. All right, someone gonna need to make it. The link in the bio for the book. Get the book, guys. All right, yeah. 
But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned in. Have a beautiful Saturday evening. Next week, we're going to be doing red pea soup. No meat. It's going to be straight red peas with coconut milk. I don't eat beef. All right. But you can use chicken in it if you like. Yeah. But next week, red pea soup. No, no beef. No, 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 no. I don't eat beef. All right, guys. If you like the recipe for this one and you know exactly what to do, red pea soup. Yummy. Yeah, next week, Saturday. It's red pea soup. I'm going to be making red pea soup, guys. All right. But I'm going to tell you something where another way you can eat this soup. And this soup, if you ever do this at home, is avocado, guys. All right. I'm going to say avocado is very good. Um, Bye. Eating soup with avocado. Um, peas and beans. Right. Okay. Yes, Craig. Definitely. I'm going to do that one next week, Saturday. You need a recipe. It's going to be on my website, chefricotta.co.uk. In the next hour time, it's going to be on my website, chefricotta.co.uk. How to make this red pea soup. I'm going to name out all of the ingredients on my website, all right? Definitely 100%. But link in the bio. Go in the bio, you see my link. Go over to my YouTube channel, and you can also watch the full video on my YouTube channel, guys, all right? Chef Ricardo Cooking. Go over and watch it. All right? Yeah. 100%, guys chicken soup thank you for watching have a beautiful evening and remember man whatever you do put god first in everything have a wonderful evening and i'll soon